Hi, my name is Anna Markarova. I'm a full-time traveler. I have spent last six months traveling East Africa during the pandemic. And today I have an epic adventure for you. I will travel in four countries, three continents, five cities, 12,000 kilometers in just three days. And I will show you the most special and undiscovered part of Russia that you probably never heard about. The place that almost nobody goes to. It recently opened for the world. I will go there alone and let's see how is it to travel alone to the most concerned conservative and strictest Muslim region of Russia, a part of Russia that you could never imagine. Let's start our travel marathon. We arrived in the airport of Entebbe and today we have a flight to Cairo. It's now it's 5.38. We had like maybe 10 COVID checks. We are finally on the plane. So here in Egypt is where our crazy layover adventure starts. We have nine hours of layover. So guys, these are Giza pyramids. The stones of pyramids are so flat that you cannot even put the needle in between of them. It's until now it's a secret who built them. And this is the biggest pyramid in the world, Cheops. So there used to be an Atlantic Ocean right here. And you can find these small shells that are billion, billion years old and they became stone. Can you imagine that? This is so unbelievable. A small sample. Shells that are billion, billion years ago. I remember learning all about these pyramids in school. And now here I am seeing them in real life. Normal temperature here is plus 35 and today's plus 51 is like the hottest ever. The king of this area, he was invited the Mamluks people, the kings of another country inside this building. This is a view from Al Ghuri Mosque, one of the three blue mosques in the world. So this is the Babzuela Gate. This is the place where Muhammad Ali was hanged. And the view is just amazing. So this is how the tower we have just been to looks like. And the entrance fee for students is 50 pounds and for not students, for adults, 100 pounds. Oh, the only way stabilization of iPhone is good. Long story short, if you're in Egypt for one day, it's very hard to be short on budget uh, because everybody's trying to rip you off. And we met a guy on the street who was just so nice and brought us here to show us. And then at the end they overcharge you. And so that's not very nice. But when somebody comes very nicely, offers you to show you around or takes you, oh, I know a nice place, come with me. Keep in mind, at the end, they're gonna charge you a lot. Day two, and we take the second flight from Cairo to Dubai, third city of the travel marathon. Let's go. On the way to Dubai, and see you there. Stay tuned for my travel marathon. 
So we just arrived in Sharjah International Airport in Emirates and my first impression is amazing. The arrival was so efficient, so smooth. They did COVID tests for everyone. Of course, if you want to have a boat tour in Dubai, pay like $40. Well, you can have a boat tour for uh, four dirham. What is four dirham? Uh, one and a half dollar. For one and a half dollar. Just one ticket, public transport, but um, on a boat in Dubai. And look at this epic view. While walking and looking for the bus, accidentally found this amazing, beautiful mosque. This is Dubai Metro Station. It's very safe, as you can see. And the price of one single ticket for one zone is six dirham. The other skyscrapers look so small in compared to Burj Khalifa. Dubai is amazing. The most annoying thing here nowadays is that you have to wear a mask all the time outside. Otherwise, the fine is 3,000 uh, dirhams. So day three, fourth country, and today you can't believe, but I'm in Chechnya in Russia. Good morning guys, today I arrived in Chechnya, the city called Grozny, it's southern part in Caucasus part of Russia and this city is like a small Dubai in Russia and it has a lot of skyscrapers, famous mosque, Kadyrov, uh, he's a leader of this district and today I'm gonna show you is it safe for a girl to travel here so let's explore it together. So what is Chechnya and why this part of Russia looks so different from the Russia you used to hear about? So Russia has 86 districts and this one is in Caucasus Mountains next to Dagestan. This region uh, has its own religion, uh, its own language, their own leader, their own different culture, different food, different traditions. 
the main religion here is Islam and they speak Chechen language. They use the same currencies, they use rubles and the city is just amazing. It looks so different from everything you used to imagine and associate when you hear the word Russia with. There are no beers, there, there is no vodka, there is no uh, other things, but uh, it's very beautiful and it is still Russia. And the people here, they're actually very kind. Um, so far, I met a very nice taxi driver who brought me here to this beautiful place. Another one who took me from airport, they all tell about the city, about where you can watch or eat and let's see what else is here. So I tried to enter the mosque but they didn't let me in. I put the cover on my head but they said it's a wrong style of cover and I was wearing long dress but they still told me the dress should be longer and even wearing pants under my dress and they still didn't let me in so I don't know what's wrong i would be in just a beautiful mosque inside there is Russian Islamic University I'm very lucky to be here in the springtime because the trees are amazing everything is blooming smells great it's very warm and also by the way after I went from the mosque went away from the mosque there was a very nice and super kind friendly welcoming man came to me and asked why they didn't let me in and I said well, I don't know, maybe I did something wrong with uh, uh, with covering my head. And he said, oh, that's the first time they're so strict. Usually they let everyone in. But right now, because of Ramadan, they have some sort of uh, Islamic healing uh, ceremony there. So uh, maybe that's why I didn't try a second attempt. But uh, yeah, the people are very friendly, very nice here can say that these kind of buildings are not often you can meet in regions of Russia. You can meet this in a big cities, but in regions this is very rare. So we can see this. Also this region is famous. It's like a tax paradise uh, and food is very cheap. So they, they did very amazing job for the locals here. A lot of buildings are not finished yet a lot of things are still building so this city is like a mini dubai that just started growing locals say they arise from the ashes just now this beautiful building is where people get married in this city the city is very green and very very clean which i'm really honestly impressed with this beautiful place is the residency of the leader of Chechen Republic. This is just the house where local people live. It looks like a village. If you go a little bit further from the main street, you will find that city is actually like, like a peaceful village. Just saw a very wise saying on this building. It was written, uh, everybody thinks the right time will come. The time only passes. Do it now. Don't wait for the best, better moment, better opportunity. The best moment is now. The amazing thing is when you cross the road here, the cars will actually stop to let you go. And then they will look at you like, go here, I'm gonna head to see my grandparents. And hopefully tomorrow night, I can have some rest and a nice homemade food from my grandparents. I haven't seen my family for six months and I miss them a lot. <laughs> so I'm back home to visit my grandparents and today it's a beautiful, warm, sunny spring day and we're planting these tomatoes in our garden. Look at my hands. 
and this is my dog Yuki. Stay tuned for my next adventures. I will tell you amazing stories from backpacking and hitchhiking in Armenia for two weeks. Subscribe to not miss out on facts, stories from unique and remote places that media doesn't show. Ring the bell to get notified when the next video is uploaded. See you next Saturday. Thank you for watching.